Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Yes, we have a Cold War gameplay and yes, we have some exciting Cold War news just before release, which we did receive just the other day. But before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. But in today's video, I want to talk about prestiging in Cold War. It was on my wish list for this game, you know, the old school prestiging system. And lo and behold, we have prestiging in Cold War, but not like any other game we have previously seen. I f must first say, the ranking in Cold War, Warzone and Modern Warfare is all combined following the release of Cold War on uh, the... I don't even know what day it is. But basically, we have... Two, a thousand levels per season and to hit master prestige in each season you have to get to level 200 so basically you start at level 1 you hit level 50 and then I'm pretty sure you go to prestige 1 you unlock a prestige key when you hit prestige which allows you to unlock any prestige emblem in the whole Black Ops series so far from Black Ops 1 through Black Ops 4 uh, it's actually insane then another 50 lap ranks you level up to prestige 2 another 50 ranks prestige 3 you hit 200 you master prestige and if you want to go that little step further you go to level 1000 which is obviously the max rank per season the season resets your rank resets and you start it all over again very very exciting stuff I would love to see how this is going to work I can't wait to see I wasn't a fan of the rank resetting after every season in Modern Warfare but maybe the prestige system might add a little bit of flavor towards that. It might make it a little bit more different, a little bit more exciting, you know. Especially with the level 1000 grind each season. It must be very interesting to see how easy it is to rank up exactly. So let's say each season is around 50 to 60 days long. For instance, just a rough example, I don't know. It could be could be shorter, it could be longer. Um, hitting level 1000 in that space of time is going to be very tough. So it's going to be in exciting to see how exactly, you know, what the rank, how easy it is to level up basically. That's what I'm trying to say. So we did receive a quote here saying prestiging is key. In addition to unlocking unique prestige icons with each new prestige level, you'll also earn prestige keys as milestone rewards for every 50 season levels. At the new prestige shop, you can prestige you can use prestige keys to unlock legacy prestige icons from previous games which can be equipped if you achieve the title of Master Prestige in that season. So you get the prestige keys for prestiging, but you have to hit level 200 to be able to use these, so very interesting on that front. The prestige shop will become available in Season 1 for players who have entered prestige and earned their prestige key. Prestige shop content can only be unlocked with prestige keys, which are earned by playing the game. Once you've unlocked the prestige shop, it will be available from that point on. And with a 1000 levels available per season, you can reach up to 20 milestones each season. Milestone rewards can also include battle pass tier skips, to unlock more Battle Pass system content for use in Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. And speaking of Warzone, we've got more good news. So that is pretty insane on that front. Uh, obviously, you've got to reach level 200 to use the Prestige Key. So it gives you you know, another incentive to um, you know, work towards you know, something to grind a little bit further. So all, all in all, there's going to be 25 plus Prestige ranks in total uh, you can achieve per season, which is insane uh to think no no not per, per season sorry i think that's across oh no across all seasons so i'm pretty sure that means it is you know from you know the beginning of the game to the end of the game uh it's important to note the new seasonal prestige system arrives in black ops cold war starting on november 13th with the pre-season so obviously we have that little bit of time when the game does drop from uh it releasing to season one so we'll call that pre-season uh we did have it in modern warfare as well or season zero if you will uh, so how does this compare to the traditional prestige system in previous games? To summarise, 25 plus prestige levels to conquer all across all seasons, including the period between launch and season 1, instead of only 10 prestiges to earn for the whole year like the traditional prestige system, 6 prestige master titles to earn by reaching level 200 in each season rather than only one opportunity throughout the whole entire game. Whereas before, obviously, you'd reach Master Prestige in one game, and that'd be it. So you can you can do it up to, you know, every single season. So six times, so there's going to be six seasons in this game. Uh, thousand levels to climb in each season for Master Prestige isn't enough of a challenge. And let me tell you, that's going to be a serious grind. Milestone rewards to earn at every 50 season levels. Uh, for the first time, keep all of your creator class content after you Prestige. I'm pretty sure that has been the same for every single game, has it not? I mean, actually, no, you would have to unlock the guns again, but you'd keep all your attachments and camo. So when you prestige, then you literally just lose nothing. It's literally just a change of rank icon, which is insane. Uh, as you can see on your screen right now as well, this is going to be the free content in Season 1. So we have Nuketown 84, which is going to be incredible. We have more multiplayer maps and modes. 2v2 gunfight returns from Modern Warfare. A very, very fan favorite mode there. New weapons, which looks to be, it looks to be the M16, if I'm not mistaken. 
New Zombies mode, which is going to be insane. Uh, classified Warzone experience and much more. So this does come out on November 24th. Uh, I mean, sorry, it begins on December 10th. Uh, November 24th is, I think, maybe when the season starts. Uh, and that's when we get the content on December 10th. I'm not entirely sure on that front. But these are the prestige icons anyway on your screen. Hopefully, guys, you know, tell me what you think of them. There is only three uh, that we know of right now. Maybe there could be more added in. The master prestige icon is going to be interesting to see what that is. It's definitely, definitely going to be insane. Uh, definitely, you know, new ranking system that we've never, ever seen before, you know. So, like I did say, every 50 levels is one prestige key and one prestige key. You can pick any prestige icon from previous Black Ops games from the prestige shop. But to get to the prestige shop, you need to be level 200, and if that's not enough, you can go for the level 1000 in that season. Definitely a lot to grind for this year. I'm looking very, very forward to it. It's literally going to be such an insane year. I love this game. I can't wait for it to drop. I'm, you know, I've been holding off a, uh, playing Modern Warfare, to be honest, just taking a little bit of uh, breather from Call of Duty as a whole. Um, that's why I've not uploaded the last couple of days. You know, I've just been casually playing. I even booted up my PS3 and... Uh, did play Modern Warfare 2 and a bit of Black Ops 2 as well, so just to, you know, just have a little flashback. But yeah, that is unfortunately going to be the end of the video, guys. So make sure you do let me know down in the comments below what you think of the new ranking system. Definitely, definitely very, you know, something new. I'm really looking forward to see how it's going to work. Let me know if you're looking forward to the game as well. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait to hop in and absolutely grind this game to hell. Literally, I'm going to be there at midnight. And I don't think I'll probably sleep for like a couple of days. I don't know. It's going to be insane. I really want to grind this game out. Get off to a really good start. And I would love to hit level 1000 at least once this year. I've never hit level 1000. Uh, if I can do it every single season, that's going to be, you know, insane. But just to hit it once on one of the seasons, that would be pretty cool. But apart from that, guys, make sure you guys do hit that like button if you didn't like if you did like this video. Make sure you smash that subscribe button for more Call of Duty news, tips and tricks, gameplays, all that good stuff. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links for them there in the description below. But apart from that, guys, thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.